Welcome to my channel Physics with Akash Goel. In this video, I am going to take a problem on electromagnetic induction. The problem statement says two identical perfectly conducting rings are coaxially placed very close in finitesimally small separation to each other. Each of the coils has of inductance L and carries the current I0 in the same direction. How much minimum amount of work has to be done in making their separation infinitely large? So in this problem, initially these two coils are very close to each other and finally they are at infinite separation with each other and we have to find what amount of work, what amount of minimum work has to be done in this process. So this problem is based on the total interaction energy of uh, the two coil system and from electromagnetic induction we should know that the energy for two coil system can be written as the two terms will be of uh, self energy jo do terms yahan par aayenge dono ke self energy ke terms aayenge aur ek jo term hoga wo yahan par inki interaction energy ka term hoga so these two are self energy terms and this is the mutual energy term this is m i1 i2 where m is the mutual inductance and l1 l2 are the self inductance of the two coils so this is the term mutual inductance oh, sorry this m is mutual inductance m is mutual inductance and this term is mutual energy mutual interaction energy we can prove this also how this formula comes we can prove this if you want to prove this formula let us take two coils i am taking two coils suppose this is one coil in which current is let's say i1 and suppose i have another coil in which let's say current is i2 so these are the two coils which are kept close to each other so that flux of one coil can be linked with the other coil agar ye kafi do dur rakhe honge to ek dusre ka flux link nahi ho payega aapas mein there is no linkage of flux agar ye thode close rakhe honge tabhi mutual inductance ho payega aur ye mutually interact kar payenge to inke mutual interaction ke liye zaruri hai ki distances large nahi ho to that's why i have said the distances are less so what is the total flux passing through this coil so the total flux passing through this coil will be the flux due to self current and flux due to this current i2 so due to self current it will be l1 i1 and due to this current the flux will be m into i2 this m is uh, an algebraic quantity and this algebraic quantity can be positive or can be negative if current in both coils are in the same sense then this m is positive if current is in opposite sense then this m will be negative so in this diagram when current are in the same sense then flux due to both or magnetic field due to both the currents are in the same direction through this area so this is l1 i1 plus m i2 and flux through this coil will be thus current due to its own current uh, flux due to its own current and flux due to this current i1 so this is m into i1 what is the emf induced so if i have to write what is the emf induced then emf induced in this coil will be l1 di1 by dt plus uh, m di2 by dt this is the emf induced and in this coil the emf induced will be l2 di2 by dt plus m di1 by dt so this is the emf induced in this coils and what is the power power of the coils so for writing power i have to use v into i so for this v is this l1 di1 by dt plus m di2 by dt and this multiplied with current i1 so this is some v into i and for the second coil it will be l2 di2 by dt plus m di1 by dt multiplied by this current in the coil which is i2 here 
so this is power and what is the energy stored in infinitesimal time dt so this power to be multiplied by dt so p into dt will give me what is the energy stored in this infinitesimal time of dt so if i multiply it with dt then all the dt's are cancelled and the terms will become l1 i1 di1 i am rearranging the terms also l2 i2 di2 mm -hmm. plus m m is common i1 di2 plus i2 di1 and let us integrate this expression to find the total energy so i am integrating so obviously this integration will become half l1 i1 square so this will become half l2 i2 square and you can write this term as this is i1 di2 plus m2 di1 it can be written as d of i1 i2 and on integration this will give simply i1 i2 so this is m i1 i2 so this is a very small proof of this expression this expression <coughs> gives the total energy total magnetic field energy and this is the self energy plus mutual energy so this is the total magnetic field energy the magnetic field is produced by both these coils so what is the work done in doing this so work done work done by this external agent this is equal to delta u this is the change in the stored energy or potential energy of the system and i have to calculate what is the u initial and i have to calculate what is the u final so u initial what is u initial here so let us first discuss what is the mutual inductance in this particular situation the mutual inductance is given by m is equal to some k which is coupling factor under root l1 l2 and this coupling factor has values varying between 0 to 1 so this k can have value anything between 0 to 1 0 k is equal to 0 when there is no linkage of flux there is no interaction k is equal to 1 when there is 100 percent linkage of flux if the two coils are identical and kept like this then all the flux of one coil all the lines of one coil will definitely pass through the other coil like in this situation in this situation obviously the lines will be something like this lines are like this and you can see some lines are passing through this coil number two and some lines are not passing through this coil so all the flux of this coil is not linking with this so in this particular situation the value of k will be between 0 and 1 but in this particular situ situation the value of k will be equal to 1 so this m is equal to root l1 l2 and the two coils are identical so both have the same self inductance so m in this particular situation will be this k will be equal to 1 and m is equal to simply l so in this particular situation m is simply equal to l so what is u initial u initial will be half l i naught square this is the self energy term half l i naught square another self energy term for the second coil and mutual inductance both are having the current in the same sense so mutual inductance term will be positive and this is m what is i1 i2 this is i naught square and this m is equal to l so this will be 2 l i naught square this is the u initial for u final when this separation becomes large when the u final so we have to calculate the u final when the separation is large between the two coils suppose the coils are now infinitely separated have infinite separation between them so in this situation one thing we can write it is ki m is zero mutual inductance in particular situation may zero because in ki bismay infinite separation hai, there is no interaction between the two coils and to find u final we have to just write the terms of self energy and what is the self energy in this particular situation for self energy we must require the value of current in the two coils and how do we find the current in this particular situation so for finding the current we have to see this term is written over here that rings are perfectly conducting that means resistance is zero these are like superconducting rings so if resistance is equal to zero current is given by 
some EYR where E is the EMF induced and R is the resistance. So if R tending towards 0 then E must tend towards 0 then only we can have the finite value of I. So if R tending towards 0 E must tend towards 0 then only we can have the finite value of current in the circuit. So E is tending towards 0 and E is equal to some d phi by dt and this tending towards 0 so phi is equal to constant. So in a perfectly conducting ring the flux remains constant flux does not change. So flux here will remain constant. So flux will remain constant and uh, what is the initial flux through one coil. Let us uh, take this coil. So in this coil the flux will be due to the self current and flux will be due to the current in the other coil. So what is the total flux over here in the initial situation. So in the initial situation the flux is let us calculate in this both are having the same flux. So flux in one coil will be equal to L I naught plus M I naught and since M is equal to L so flux is equal to 2 L I naught. So initially in any of the coil the flux is equal to 2 L I naught. Now there is no flux linkage there is no mutual inductance. So the self inductance is equal to L and current should be equal to 2 I naught. If current is equal to 2 I naught then flux is equal to L into 2 I naught. So flux in a coil will remain constant because these are perfectly conducting. So finally the current is 2 I naught in both the coils. If current is 2 I naught then what is u final u final is equal to half L into 2 I naught square this is the energy associated with the one coil multiplied by 2 this is the total self energy and this total self energy is also the energy of uh, the system. So this is equal to 4 L I naught square. So work done is equal to u final minus u initial this is equal to 2 L I naught square. So this is the final answer.